What's going on everybody? Today we installed the throttle, the throttle plate, the turbo tubing, and some sensors on this wonderful 420 EFI headache drift trike. It's a headache though. Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> This O2 sensor is going to have to go in the exhaust. Um, before the turbo or after the turbo? Uh, most likely before. I'm sure it doesn't matter. It would probably work better after. Okay. But we're going to have to be nice to put it somewhere where it's not easily seen like maybe maybe more like this kind of yeah let me see I'm betting that this is for the throttle body or throttle plate Ike and I have spent a couple of minutes just sitting here figuring out how we're gonna hide the wiring harness and I came up with a pretty good plan thank you tell him buddy uh, We'll use the uh, fuel tank that's on the engine to house the harness and just all the ugly stuff. Uh, possibly even the computer, but maybe uh, coming out of the bottom, a little, little bit of air get to it or whatever. Um, so, But the majority of the stuff we can house inside that fuel tank. I think that's a good idea, but uh, it raises a couple concerns. First off, we're going to need to find another location for a gas tank. We're probably going to put it up at the front, um, but it'll have to be smaller. But then again, we don't need that much of a range with this thing. Another concern is that, you know, it gets to be 100, 105 degrees almost. I'm not saying we're going to ride it out in that kind of temperature, but uh, it's going to be like an oven in there. You know, you got the sun, the heat from the sun beating down on this black that's going to be absorbing all that heat and then you got the heat from the engine coming up <clears throat> it's going to it's going to be a heat sandwich we can put louvers in it or something yeah i know that's just one of the concerns i have with it but it'll probably be fine quit being a pansy <laughs> it'll be fine okay i mean we got this well i'm going to start disassembling uh what we had just installed like the battery and the alternator so we can take off the fuel, not the fuel cover, the engine cover, and uh, what is it that needs to go in the uh, engine cover? The uh, coil. <clears throat> the coil. Install the coil and the uh, the pickup for the... Uh, yeah, the hall sensor or something? Yeah, like for okay. the uh, uh, right. in fuel injection. Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to loosen the back. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Got yourself? No, almost did. There you go. So we have the alternator off, we have the battery off, so now we're gonna take the engine cover off so we can uh, get to installing the coil. And hall sensor. And the hall sensor. Man, I like this seat. I do too. It's it even feels good to lay on. <laughs> hey man, all we need is a uh, another one of these carburetors. Yeah. Oh. We have dual ones for, for the, the uh, 670. That's right. That's still on our list to do. We just haven't gotten around to it because we're doing this and other things. How's it going, man? Fine. How's it going with you? Just fine. How are the kind of welds look? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> It'll be fine. Gasket ripped. What else is new? I think it was running like poo-poo because the intake gasket blew out. Seriously? Seriously. It looked like it was poking out of the top, but I didn't. I thought it was thicker than that. And whenever I removed the uh, this piece, the gasket was actually above, so it was leaking. Probably the first boost that we had blew it out. Probably so. Yeah. There is no pickup on the core. So that's what that, uh, the hall sensor? Hall sensor's for. Yeah, where's that at? It's in there somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this carburetor, the whole carburetor and intake. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, 
Uh, well, here's the problem. The fuel cutoff is on that carburetor. <laughs> so we have fuel leaking all over the place. So if you remove the carburetor, then it's probably best to remove the fuel tank with it. Yeah, I can, uh, I can manage that. So we went inside for a while and stared at the instruction manual and kind of scratched our heads. And then we finally found the section containing uh, what to do with the coil and the hall sensor. And we found out that we're going to need to make a bracket. We're also going to need to... Oh, you already got rid of it. So there's the stock ignition that we're not going to yeah. be using. So it was right there. Boom, right there. I unbolted it, pulled it off. This is the kill switch wire that went to the coil. Now we need to come up with a bracket so we can mount our hall sensor at... Wait, is it just hall sensor or also ignition coil? No, it's just the hall sensor. Okay. So where does the ignition coil go? Uh, anywhere we want it to. Okay. Yeah, we can mount this uh, coil anywhere. I okay. mean, she plugs in right there, and we get this long... Man, we can put this thing anywhere. The hall sensor is right here. So that hall sensor is going to go there, and it needs to be 3 to 5 millimeters, three to five millimeters from the flywheel. I just removed the gas tank and the carburetor. So we're working with a more bare engine. It looks so much smaller without the, the gas tank on it. But uh, Ike is working on the hall sensor. But our goal for tonight is to have the uh, the hall sensor and the hall sensor bracket mounted to where it needs to go. It's that little silver thing. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. It tells the computer where uh, it needs to fire the ignition. And with this hall sensor, the computer will actually adjust the uh, ignition timing, uh, which is great. So. so could we put nitrous on this thing and not have to mess with it more? So we're going to keep working on this Saturday, but we'll see you guys in a second. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we've been out here for maybe half an hour kind of staring at this thing and we uh, took the exhaust off and drilled a hole in it for our O2 sensor. So here's the O2 sensor bung right here that we're going to weld right there so we can then thread the O2 sensor into it. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, the O2 sensor, O2 sensor will work. Ike, do you want to explain to people what an O2 sensor does? The O2 sensor measures the amount of air and fuel coming out of the exhaust and it tells the computer what the reading is. The computer then decides, hey, I'm a little bit too rich, I'm going to lean you out. And then it decides, oh, I'm too lean, I'm going to richen you up. And it just gives it the proper amount of fuel for a efficient engine uh, running. Every time. That's right. So, before I weld this bung on here, I'm going to stick the exhaust back on and just uh, see how it's going to line up. So I got the exhaust back on the turbo, and uh, that's where the O2 sensor is going to go. So I'm going to tack that bung right there, and then remove the exhaust, and then weld the whole thing up. I didn't even check the setting on this. It'll be fine. <laughs> it did all right. Yeah, it looks good. I think I might have welded the O2 sensor. No. Please don't do that. False alarm. I did not weld the O2 sensor. Yeah. That would have been bad. That would have been real bad. Yeah. So now we have the exhaust back off the turbo, and I'm just going to weld up around the O2 sensor, or the O2 sensor bung. I guess we can let this cool, put it back on, put the O2 sensor in, and that'll be one more thing to cross off the list. That's right. Cool. So what do you want to get to next? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. There's so many things. So many stuff. So many stuffs. Me and John are just uh, leaving my uh, country estate. We, uh, there it is. Goodbye. My country estate. My other place. And uh, we went and picked up 
up pulley. Good size one. What do you think, John? Yeah, uh, hopefully it'll work. Oh, it'll work. A lot better than... It'll work better than what we got up there. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit smaller than I remember it being. I was thinking it was closer to the actual size of the tire, which would be perfect for cruising around and stuff. That one will work at high RPMs. So now we're running Ike's work and we're grabbing uh, some new washers with the rubber seals on them. So hopefully we can get rid of that. I uh, might not have the washer with the rubber seals. So you can grab just brass ones. Brass ones and yeah. silicone or something. No, we don't need the rubber seal. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah we're good. Cool. So we're going to grab some of those so we can get rid of the oil leak that we've been having. Make the flange and get the seals and blah 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 blah. Yeah, blah. the flange for the uh, throttle body. Yep. So see you in a little bit. With a little bit of lubrication, she'll go. I mean, we want it. That's fit. what she said. We want it fitting tight. <laughs> we just got back to the shop from Ike's work and the parts store. We were cutting out a flange for our uh, throttle body, and also finding some hose and some um, hose clamps so we can attach the. Uh, the throttle body to the engine. Show them what we made, Ike. Well, we made a flange. And uh, we got a hose. And we got some uh, more Harley exhaust pipe. Kind of like, so. Oh my. We're going to have to dimple it. Dimple the uh, pipe a little bit. Yeah. How's the lineup? Perfect. Awesome. I can't believe. I mean, it looks perfect. Man, we didn't strip out these holes, but them threads look terrible. I'm thinking the shorter, the better. Shorter the intake pipe is? Yeah, definitely. That way, uh, she's a straight in shot. That's right. I find it that it's easier to weld something that's a little more powerful, or... You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little tougher to weld thinner. Let's see what we can do. I'm using this uh, old uh, belt uh, package. Uh, we don't have a gasket for this uh, intake, so I'm going to use this uh, piece of paper to uh, make, make a, a gasket. gasket. And I'm going to do it the way I've been taught a long time ago. Et voila, gasket. Sweet. Well, we've been working on this, uh, installing the EFI, um, the That's throttle right. throttle plate. Um, we got a, a, a flange made for it. We got the hose hooked up. We got it in place. There's the throttle. Here's the injector. I'm installing the injector. All this, that gets rid of three connectors on the wiring harness. One, there. two, three. Yeah, it counts for three of them. Looks like we're uh, to the point of installing the uh, wiring harness. and I mean, the alternator can be put on and yeah. You look excited. Um, yeah, whoopee. <laughs> This is going against everything. Everything you stand for? Pretty much. I was trying to put it a nice way and that'll work. <laughs> this goes against everything I stand for. I'm old school carbureted, points ignition, good to go. <laughs> but it'll, it'll be, be fine. fine. That's right. It'll be fine. Maybe this will be the, uh, my, the turning point in my life where I'm like, growing up and wanting <laughs> bigger and better things. Fuel injection. Oh, well, I just got through hooking up the uh, throttle. Took maybe an hour. Yeah, with my little rigging. 
and uh, I'm about to uh, cut up the uh, turbo lines to the make intake them fit. pipe. Huh? Is that the intake pipe? Yeah. Intake pipe. Yeah. I guess you're working on the temporary fuel tank. That's right. I don't think it looks great. Uh, so that's why it's going to be temporary. And yeah, we did decide to use the fuel tank, the original fuel tank, to house the huge wiring harness. That's the plan. That's right. Now we got to cut that thing open without blowing ourselves up. Yep. Don't try any of this stuff at home, everybody. We'll get it. We got it. I am uh, welding up this ugly, hideous boost pipe going through to the uh, throttle plate. Um, I'd like to do something different, but this is what we got right now, and maybe we'll change it later. Yep. So for right now, boom. Yep. Right here. Same with the gas tank, by the way. Yeah, gas tank is temporary. We're just working with what we got. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's not looking like we're going to be able to finish this thing tonight. Sure. Um, our goal for tonight is to have all the hardware kind of installed in the uh, on the EFI kit. In the next video, we're hoping to plug everything in and uh, figure out our fuel situation, hook up the fuel pump, the fuel filter, all that good stuff, and uh, also run it. We were really hoping it would uh, we'd have it done this time too, but what can you do? We've been out here for 10 hours and I still got to edit this video and I got to write a paper and tomorrow's Monday. Boy, it's hot. It is hot. It is so hot. But unfortunately, that's all we have time to do today. We basically installed all the plumbing and all the fabrication, pretty much, like the hardware and the throttle. That took forever. We also got... Uh, the new in intake pipe on. Don't judge me. It looks kind of bad. It looks real bad. But for testing purposes only. That's right. So we got the throttle plate on. We got the O2 sensor on. The hall sensor pickup for the uh, ignition. It's installed. Next time we're basically going to be hooking up the fuel system and just plugging in all the electronics and finding a place for the wiring harness. Hopefully it'll be running by then. Oh, it will. It'll be fine. It'll be so fast. I hope so. It better be. It also better run well. Uh, it'll be fine. Anyway, don't forget everybody, this Saturday, June 18th of 2016, we're having a meet at the GoPro Motorplex. Meet us there, 2 p.m. There's more information on our Facebook page. Check it out. We hope to see you there. Where's it at? GoPro Motorplex. Mooresville. Mooresville, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews, and check us out on Garage Amino at just Cars and Cameras. That's one word. Uh, gotta thank Garage Amino for this build. They provided the turbo and the EFI. We gotta thank Go, Go Power, Power Sports. Sports. Thank you, Go Power Sports. That's right. And we also gotta thank Ike's brother at All Out Bikes in um, Four Oaks, North Carolina. They go all out. That's right. So, thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you in the next one. That is the fakest smile, I know. dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point. On the uh, axle, I, I'm uh, pretty sure that this is not going to be uh, fast enough. John is welding uh, the bracket for the uh, battery so she'll stay in place. Yeah, buddy, that'll work. Man, that is a beautiful bead you did there. <laughs>